Buying an inexpensive used car has its pitfalls. In general, bargain-priced used vehicles are usually older and have higher mileage. They may have some mechanical problems or a sketchy maintenance history. There may even be some rust lurking out of sight. These issues don't bode well for shoppers on a tight budget. That being said, there are often diamonds in the rough. If you follow a few basic guidelines, you should be able to find a good used car for $5,000 or less. 2007 Mercury Mountaineer. Much like its Explorer twin, the Mercury Mountaineer is a bargain when it comes to used midsize SUVs. It shouldn't be too hard to find low mileage examples for under $5,000. The Mountaineer has a roomy and quiet interior with up to seven seats. It's comfortable to drive on long hauls, and its lineup of V6 and V8 engines provides adequate thrust. This SUV also has decent safety scores. As with the Explorer, the most reliable Mountaineers seem to be the 2007 to 2010 models. 2007 Kia Sportage. The second generation Kia Sportage is a great buy if you're shopping for a used small SUV. Kia sold these models from 2005 to 2010, and they don't have many known issues. The Sportage offers roomy seating space, a sizable cargo area, and sturdy cabin materials. Its outdoorsy styling remains in vogue, and its four- and six-cylinder engines provide sufficient punch for everyday driving. On the other hand, the Sportage's crash safety ratings are unremarkable. 2007 Mazda 5. Is it a small minivan? Is it a tall wagon? The segment-bending Mazda 5 is a bit of both. The 5 has three rows of seats, sliding rear doors, and a fairly large cargo area, making it a practical runabout for small families. Just don't try to squeeze adults into the third row. It's rather agile and easy to maneuver through traffic, and its four-cylinder engine supplies adequate pep for everyday driving, though it's a bit lacking in Mazda's usual zoom-zoom. Best of all, the Mazda 5 has fared well for reliability over the years. 2007 Honda Element. Despite its age, the Honda Element continues to hold its resale value like a vice grip. Even high mileage examples trade hands for around $5,000. You can chalk that up to the element's strong reputation for reliability and its practical interior layout, which features waterproof upholstery, removable rear seats, and a large cargo area. The element also rides comfortably, and its 2.4-liter four-cylinder engine has adequate pep. However, its handling is a bit cumbersome for such a small SUV. Drivetrain choices include five-speed manual and automatic transmissions, and either front or all-wheel drive. 2009 Kia Sedona. The Kia Sedona isn't the most exciting option if you're shopping for a used car, but if you've got a large family to shuttle around, it's a pretty stellar value. The Sedona has a roomy seven-seat interior, it rides comfortably over uneven road surfaces, and its big V6 engine has more than enough brawn to haul the minivan around. Fold or remove the rear seats, and you'll find a massive 141 cubic feet of cargo space. Better still, the Sedona rates above average for reliability and crash safety. 2007 Kia Rondo. The Kia Rondo was only on sale in the US from 2007 to 2010, but that short production run doesn't make it a bad used car. If anything, the Rondo is an overlooked gem. This five-door wagon offers roomy first and second row seats, an expansive cargo area, a gentle ride quality, and above-average crash safety ratings. When new, a third row was optional, but these seats are pretty snug. The Rondo's four- and six-cylinder engines are dependable. Most notable is the Rondo's value proposition. Even the later models in this generation sell for around $5,000 or less. 2007 Ford Explorer. The Ford Explorer name may not be synonymous with reliability, but these fourth-generation SUVs are actually pretty dependable, not to mention plentiful and inexpensive to buy. The Explorer boasts an airy interior with up to seven seats, it glides smoothly over rough road surfaces and handles fairly well for such a large SUV. Engine options include a 210-horsepower V6 and a 292-horsepower V8. Neither is particularly fuel-efficient, but both get the job done for everyday driving and light towing. We suggest sticking with a 2007 to 2010 model, as these seem to have the fewest issues of any modern Explorer. 2007 Suzuki Grand Vitara. 
Suzuki called it quits on the U.S. car market in 2012 after years of declining sales, but it left behind some compelling used car bargains, like the Grand Vitara. This often overlooked compact SUV has a stout V6 engine, a rugged ladder frame chassis, and a choice of manual or automatic transmissions. Its available four-wheel drive system enables good off-road ability, and the five-seat interior, though heavy on the hard plastics, offers respectable seating and cargo space. Ultimately, the Japanese brand didn't sell many Grand Vitaras, at least compared to the contemporary Honda CR-V or Toyota RAV4. Still, you'll often find used models at a significant discount versus these rivals. 2009 Saturn View The second-generation Saturn View was in production from just 2008 to 2009. Even so, these SUVs seem to have withstood the test of time. The view rates well for reliability and crash safety, and its airy cabin offers plenty of space for passengers and cargo. It's a comfortable SUV to drive day to day as well, and its engine lineup provides sufficient power. Options include a four cylinder with 169 horsepower and a pair of V6s with 222 and 257 horsepower, respectively.